In this example, we're asked to find the derivative of the following function, f of x equals 5x squared plus 3x, all cubed. Now, in order to understand how the chain rule works, it's a good idea to review composition of functions, because this is basically what is going on in this function. If we say, let g of x equal x cubed, which is our outer function, and we can also let h of x equal what's inside, which is the inner function. If you have reviewed composition of functions, you would realize that all f of x is is just g compose h of x or g of h of x and all you have to do to find the derivative of a composition of functions is to invoke what is called the chain rule so if we have f of x which equals g of h of x in order to find f prime of x all we have to do is take the derivative of g with respect to h of x. So it'll be g prime of h of x and then multiply it by the derivative of h of x times h prime of x. So this is the rule that we use all the time. And it might seem confusing at first, but once you see it in action, it's really not incredibly difficult. So what we have is f of x equals 5x squared plus 3x all cubed. And all I'm going to do is to invoke the chain rule. So really, you don't even need to follow this formula to a t if you don't want to, as long as you understand what is going on. All I think is this. I'm going to take the derivative of the whole outside as if this is just any variable raised to the power of 3. So f prime of x equals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this whole function by 3 and then I'm going to subtract 1 from the exponent. So I get 3 times 5x squared plus 3x and I subtract 1 from the exponent so now this is 2. So this is in fact our g prime of h of x term. Now I can work my way inside. So I'm going to take the derivative of this inside part with respect to x. So I will get times 10x plus 3. And this is all the derivative is. This is it. As long as you remember to always start on the outside and work your way in. Here's one for you to try. Find the derivative of f of x equals sine x raised to the power of 3. So this is the solution.